If you're thinking about moving to Charlotte, then you need to watch this video right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Mercado Jones. I am a real estate broker in Charlotte, North Carolina with Keller Williams South Park. If you are new to my channel or if you haven't done it yet, then please go ahead and do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button right down there. And truthfully, by you clicking that, it really helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to click that bell because that will allow you to be notified every single time that I post a new video and I put out new content every single Monday. So trust me when I tell you, you do not want to miss out. Okay guys, so over the last few weeks, I've been trying to think of all of the things that I had questions about and things that I wanted to know before moving to Charlotte. So today we are talking about transportation. So for me, I was used to New York City where I still to this day have not figured out the subway system um, where hailing down a taxi can be dangerous. Here in Charlotte, it is nowhere near that. It is much more user friendly and I'm gonna let you know all of your options. So one of the coolest and freshest ways that you can get around in Charlotte is by rail. First is Charlotte's Lynx Blue Line Light Rail. This is North Carolina's first light rail line that connects South Charlotte to Center City. It then continues on to Noda and UNC Charlotte. On weekdays, the line is available every seven and a half minutes during that busy rush hour time and every 15 minutes during non-peak hours. Weekend service operates every 20 minutes during the day and every 30 minutes during late night hours. It's $2.20 each way, which is not bad and you can purchase passes from your smartphone with a CATS Pass, an app from the Charlotte area transit system. And no worries, I will put a link below where you can easily click on it and go to where you can download the app and get all the information that you need. Next is the City Links Gold Line. This streetcar system runs east to west connecting neighborhoods to businesses and educational facilities including Novant Health, Presbyterian Medical Center, Central Piedmont Community College, and the Charlotte Transportation Center. The Gold Line runs every 15 to 20 minutes, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to midnight on Friday, 8 a.m. to midnight on Saturday, and 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. And the best part? It is free. So if by rail is not your thing, you can also get around Charlotte by vehicle. There is bus service through the Charlotte area transit system, better known as CATS. Most of these operate from 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. on weekdays, 6 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. on Saturdays, and 6.30 a.m. to midnight on Sundays. And this is $2.20 each way for local routes. $3 each way for express routes and $4.40 each way for regional express routes. Children five and under ride free. Seniors and youth grades K through 12 will ride for half fare with transit ID, Medicare card, or a valid school ID. And the next vehicle option is the Sprinter bus service. This is a hybrid electric bus that makes it really easy to get from Charlotte Douglas International Airport to Center City with a few stops in central locations. It runs every 20 minutes on weekdays and every 30 minutes on nights and weekends and it's $2.20 each way. And another unique way to get around in Charlotte is by bicycle. Hundreds of bike sharing options are scattered throughout the city. Charlotte B-Cycle has more than 20 bike docks where you can swipe your credit card to rent a bike in 30 minute increments. Dockless bike sharing companies like Linebike, Mobike, and Spin offer riders the option to pick up and leave their colorful two-wheeler in whatever legal spot that they like. The wheels lock when no one is using them, which is a great feature. And you can download the company's smartphone apps to rent the bikes. As usual, I will link all of that below. And just a little inside scoop for you, they are looking to expand the Lynx Blue Line light rail to include Ballantyne and Pineville. And this should be happening sometime around 2030. 
All right, guys, so there are a lot of options for transportation in Charlotte, and trust me when I tell you, they are easy to figure out, they're user-friendly, it's not like riding the subway in New York, it's definitely easier <laughs> to figure out how to get around in the Charlotte area. All right, in the comments below, I want you guys to let me know which mode of transportation will you be using when you come to Charlotte. As always, if you have any questions at all about Charlotte, moving to Charlotte, you know I am your girl. Put them in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like it, share with your friends, definitely subscribe and I will greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out y'all. Getting around Charlotte is super... Glad that's done.